Hi guys, Roger Shahata here and congratulations for taking the first step about changing your financial future. So what I'm going to talk to you guys today about is having the perfect mindset for your work from home business opportunity. Mindset plays a major role to becoming successful in any type of business. I've been involved in business all my life, so I know exactly what it takes to have the perfect mindset. So let's talk about a few things, and I encourage you to get some paper and pen and take down some good notes and listen carefully to what possibly could make a difference to your financial future. So let's talk about the first thing. The first thing that you do in the morning is you wake up and how do you start your day? Now, a lot of us obviously get up and make breakfast and have a coffee or a protein shake or whatever the case might be. Um, but what kind of mindset do we wake up to? Do we wake up dragging ourselves out of bed or do we start thinking to ourselves, okay, this is going to be the most unbelievable day. I'm going to go get some more customers. I'm going to do what's necessary to build my business. So it all starts with the morning mindset because that really sets the pace for what's going to happen for you for the rest of the day. I can tell you now, if you start off the morning with a negative attitude or something happens in your life that really just puts you in the wrong direction, it can really set the day off unbalanced. So really make sure that you're starting with a positive attitude, waking up fresh, getting a good night's sleep, having a great attitude in the morning and ready to go to work. To work. So the second thing that I normally do in the morning, and it's really important, is what are you listening to or what are you watching? Do you wake up and listen to the, the news? Or do you read the local newspaper or the newspaper in your area? Okay, let me tell you, news has a lot of negativity. Okay, there's barely any time where there's actually something positive in the newspapers or on the news. You know, a secret to my success in the last 19 years, or actually more than 19 years, I've been in business now for oh, nearly 31 years actually, let me correct that, you know, is not listening or watching anything negative first thing in the morning. Because I know, you know, us as human beings, we take things to heart. And if we're listening to something negative, what you listen to, and I want you to write this down, is normally what you attract in your life. You know, it's like that negative phone call that you, somebody rings you and gives you some piece of bad news that happened, and you take that to heart and you go, oh, I feel sorry for that person, or, or it might be something that actually happened to you. It's a bit of bad news for you. And, you know, they always say bad news comes in threes. And, you know, you hang up that phone call and shortly after, what happens? Something else normally happens that's also negative. So really important that you start your day with the right attitude, listening to something positive or watching something positive. Good thing for you is there's a lot of free information as well as paid information that you have access to. You know, you have YouTube, you can look up personal development. One of my personal favorites is one of my mentors in business is a guy by the name of Mr. Jim Rowan. I mean, Mr. Jim Rowan is a world-renowned business philosopher and he has some of the best tips in business. So I really encourage you to look up that name. It's spelled Jim, J-I-M, Rowan, R-O-H-N. Google him, you can buy his books from bookstores, you can download audios, you can go to jimrowan.com and download some stuff, and you can also have free access to a lot of YouTube videos with Mr. Jim Rowan. 
So that always is a great way to start your morning off because it keeps things so simple. The third thing I really want you to note down and get focused on is how are you dressing up for your business, okay? Do you dress up to show up? Or do you are you pretty casual about your business? You know, if, if you're running a traditional business, I'm sure you're dressing up to some kind of sense uh, to go to work. But for people who work from home, such as myself, you know, dressing up makes the difference about how you feel about your day. I tell you, in these days I actually put on a tracksuit, you know, my energy is not the same as putting on a suit or a jacket and being dressed up to go to work. Even though I'm working from home and nobody sees me, but the way you look, the way you feel, the way you talk, the attitude you have behind everything makes the difference in presenting yourself when you're talking to your customers over the phone. So how do you feel? How do you feel when you dress up? That, you know, how do you feel when you talk to people? Do you have a smile on your face when you're talking to your customers? This has all got to do with having the right mindset for a work from home business opportunity. The next thing I want you to note down is what are you reading? What are you reading for personal development? Okay, so we spoke about listening to and watching, but what are you actually reading? You know, I love uh, children's books because children's books a lot of the times are encouraging children to do something. And one of my favorite children's book, I pulled this out of my kids cupboard today, it's called Oh The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Okay, and this book's quite amazing because you know, it, it gives you the I think you can, I think I can attitude. You know, I think I can climb that mountain. I think I can become better. I think I can do. And that's really the attitude you need to have in your business. So I really encourage you, if you haven't read that book, get a copy because there's a lot of personal development in that children's book. And we read books like these for our children but unfortunately, us as adults, we limit ourselves with what we want to achieve in our lives. And, you know, so we sit there reading a book like this to our kids, encouraging our kids that they can do anything they possibly want in life. They can achieve anything they want to if they're willing to work for it and put their mind to it. And then after we put the kids to sleep, we say to ourselves, oh, you know what? this business is not working for me or whatever. And we start putting negativity in our own minds, not believing what we just read to our children that we can do this. So what are you reading? What are you feeding your brain with on a daily basis constantly? You know, me, I like to not only work on take, taking care of roadblocks and obstacles that are in my way, how to overcome them, look for a way to overcome the challenges. But I do a lot of reading online courses and stuff like that because I'm constantly working harder on myself than I do on my business. So I want you to write that down. Work harder on yourself than you do on your business. If you work harder on yourself, the business becomes easy. You know, I'll share with you a quick story. There's a story about two axemen who go chop down trees. And one guy goes out there and they're in competition. And one guy goes out there and is constantly chopping, 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 chopping. And watches the other guy from a distance. And the other guy is chopping, 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 and then walks away for a little bit. And then he comes back and chopping, 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 and he walks away for a little bit. By the end of the, the race, they found the guy that was actually chopping and walking away was chopping down more trees than the guy that was constantly chopping. So what's the difference you might ask? Well, the difference is the guy who was constantly chopping, his ax started to get blunt. And because he constantly just kept chopping, it took him longer to chop down the tree. Whereas the other guy who was disappearing for a while, 
he was chopping and then he was going to sharpen his axe and then coming back and chopping the trees. So he was constantly chopping the axe, uh, sharpening the axe to chop down more trees. And that's why he won the competition. So what's the, what's the philosophy behind this is, are you sharpening your axe with your mind? Are you working on yourself every single day? Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. The last thing I wanna share with you guys today is how do you finish your day? Now again, a lot of people come back from work, they turn the TV on, they say, I've been working hard all day, let me turn on some television so I can relax or read the paper, and then, before you know it, they're feeding their mind with negative mindset, attitude stuff, they're reading something negative just before they go to bed, okay? Or, you know, this is really, really important, guys. You have gotta constantly work on yourself throughout the whole day. It's a bit like having a shower. You can have a shower today. If you don't shower tomorrow, maybe it's okay. But if you go two, three, four days without showering, you get pretty smelly and dirty. And that's how your mindset is. If you're not constantly working on your mind on a daily basis, showering your mind with positive attitude stuff, listening to stuff, having the right posture, the right attitude, the talking, you know, all that kind of stuff. If you're not showering yourself daily with that kind of stuff, you're probably gonna stink after a week not doing that so that's pretty much it for the mindset workshop today hope you got a lot of benefit out of this look forward to seeing you very soon